Imagine you load up Minecraft and hop into a single player world. Get some wood, get your starting resources, then build your house. After you build your house, you then place all the necessary items in your interior, and then you look outside and it's night. So you try to go to sleep to skip the day, but when you do, you hear someone knocking on your door in your single player world. This is the knocker. The knocker is a player-like entity that always knows where you are, stalks you, jump scares you, and attacks you if it feels like the opportunity is perfect. Today, I let the knocker enter my Minecraft world and I tried surviving this entity. Also, we're almost at 700k subs, so please subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later if you feel like it. But without further ado, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Nice. We are in this nice, beautiful, peaceful, luxurious, amazing, awesome, nothing could go, oh wow, a village. Nothing could go wrong world. Um, I guess I'll get some trees over here. Yeah, so if y'all don't know, I record my intros after the main video, so whatever was shown in the intro, I do not know about it. I literally am going into this completely blind. So the knocker could be like a really cool entity and he like wants to kiss me or something, or he could be like a horrible person and try to kill me. I'm assuming because it's a horror mod, he's probably not gonna kiss me and he's probably gonna try to kill me, but I don't know that for sure because I don't know anything about the mod. So we'll see what happens, I guess. But it's crafting table time and stick time. And yeah, for this video, I probably want to try to kill it if it can be killed. You know, some of the entities, some of the modded entities that people make for this game can't actually be killed. And let's go ahead and get some cobblestone over there. But yeah, my goal is to kill the knocker if it can be killed. I want to make a nice little house, a cute base. You know, nothing too crazy, just a cute little cube base because I'm the worst builder of all time, so all I can make is a box. Just a square base, but that is great. That is almost a perfect amount of cobblestone. Oh yeah, and then we're also in hardcore mode, but I have enough cobblestone here to make a furnace. I know that is like the weirdest thing to make as your first cobblestone item. Typically people just make like a pickaxe or an axe. <laughs> But I made a furnace because I'm special. My mom tells me that. And I'm just going to get more wood and then I guess we can go to that village. All right, surely that is enough wood, right? I think I went a little overkill, but I don't know how crazy I want my house to be. Oh, and there's a lava lake here. But hello, village. So if we get lucky here and there's a lot of hay bales and we're probably set, <laughs> set on food for the rest of this video and there's an entire herd of cows there. Oh my God, and there's a blacksmith too. Hay bales, hay bales. I see one group of hay bales please don't tell me those are the only hay bales in this entire village right whoa um yeah these hay bales over here are the only ones in the entire village well i mean it's better than nothing so it is what it is we can get almost two stacks of wheat turn that into bread and then 42 bread that's not bad that's not bad at all now i'm gonna be really chat here and i'm gonna kill the iron golem just really easy here. Yep. Not hard at all for a guy like me. Thank you, you big hunk of metal. And he gave me five. Oh my god, you gotta always give praise to the iron golem after you kill it. Call him beautiful, call him a big hunk of metal, anything you can to praise him because I just got five iron ingots. That is crazy. I'm also gonna steal their bed. So one of the villagers is going to go actually insane. They're going to be like, wait a second. One of my, one of the beds in our village is gone. And then every other villager is just going to think they're crazy and probably kill them. Like, what are you talking about, dude? All of our beds are here. You're the only one who doesn't have a bed. Are you like crazy? Are you hiding your bed from us? And then they're going to get so mad at him. They're going to think he's gone insane. And then they're just going to kill him. Oh, and there's some pumpkins over there. But let's see what's in the blacksmith. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh. Oh, that's actually crazy. <laughs> I haven't mined a single piece of iron, but we have an iron chest plate, iron boots, 11 iron, an iron horse armor, and an iron pick. That's that's crazy luck. I guess if I really wanted to, I could live inside of a villager house and just live amongst the villagers. Villagers, can I live among you? Um... I'll take that as a yes. You know, we're going to block this villager's house off, the one that I stole the bed from. And so now he's going to be really pissed because he can't even get in his own house. And I'm actually going to build my house right next to theirs. I'm not going to steal one of their homes. I also don't want to block off their little path that they made. They would probably exile me from the village. Yeah, so we can just do something like this. Have one single door right there. Oh man, how do y'all like my new house? Do you guys like me as a neighbor? 
Are they gossiping about me? Maybe I can make one of them my roommate. Oh man, this house is coming together so well. This is probably the most beautiful house you have ever seen in your entire life. Just a cube, just a square. Oh my god, that is oh, unbelievably amazing. They're probably over there admiring my amazing architecture right now. I wish I knew what they said to each other. I mean, these two are definitely having a conversation right now. If I had one superpower in this world, it would be knowing how to speak villager. Oh, I know something cool we could do too. We can put guards in front of our house. So if the knocker ever comes around, he's going to have to get through two of my villager friends first, my bodyguards. My God, look at that beautiful. Oh my God, this is cinema. Jesus Christ, look at that. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And now the moon comes up and the knocker comes. I think, I don't know when he would spawn, but I would assume if you're a horror creature, you probably spawn at night. Oh. All the villagers are going to sleep, I think. Oh! I think I walked into a gangbang. Uh, but that's okay. Consenting adults can do whatever they want. Let's go ahead and place a door down in front of my house here. Um, and also, we need to get some light because... You scared me. Actually, that sheep scared me so much, I'm gonna make a shield before I go out. I saw some iron last time I was over here. I kind of want to get that. Um, okay, those are just sheep. Yeah. Or, or not some iron. I saw some coal last time I was over here. Yeah, right down there. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, coal. Let's go. And now with this coal we can make... Bro. Torches. Don't really care if it blows up. Oh my god, I almost just died. That would have been the shortest YouTube video ever. I'm hiding inside of the blacksmith for tonight, man. Oh my god. Dude, there's still multiple villagers inside of that house over there. What are they doing? As they say, the freaks do come out at night. I'm also gonna steal this chest, actually. Because nobody, I guess, will notice. Nobody lives inside of the blacksmith. Oh no. A skeleton party. And I don't see any iron down there. So it looks like it's not even worth... Oh! Okay, eyes on the prize. I don't know why I'm mining this iron as if I desperately need iron because I already have like an insane amount of iron. Oh no! They're on to me! Thankfully, I'm gonna go this way instead and they won't be able to hit me anymore. Oh my god, there's more iron here. I just got so lucky with that. Wow. I'm like a human iron detector. Oh my god, are these guys still- Oh, whoa, whoa. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, well now that we have coal and then, you know, we have enough wood to make more sticks. We can actually light the inside of my house. Yeah, let's make this house a home. That looks much better. We should also get a floor going. I think it would be cool to also have like a little lookout tower. So, you know, I can I can get up there and I can see what's going on in the world. Let's go ahead and cook up some of that iron. And then with my plentiful amount of iron, I'm just going to go ahead and make a shovel and get rid of all of this floor. I'm also, so I have an extra layer of protection, going to make an iron axe. And somebody told me on my last video, wait, that's, that's real for, wait, is that real for every axe? Okay, somebody told me in my last video that iron axes deal the same amount as diamond. They do the same amount of damage as diamond axes. Do stuff. Do wood axes deal the same amount of damage as diamond? Okay, this does seven. Okay, so stone does the same amount as iron. Interesting, I never knew that. But I'm thinking we make the floor here out of cobblestone. <laughs> that echo of the villager. <laughs> nice. The floor is looking good. Then we place this out here. We got a door. Oh man, this is really coming together. And I'm gonna go ahead and get six ladders here. And we can make a little watchtower on top of my house. And this can literally just be the watchtower. It can literally just be the top of my house here because this is good enough. So that's cool. We got a little watchtower now. Uh, I'm gonna place the bed on this side. Um, and all that iron smelt that we now have 19. So I can go ahead and make myself full iron here yeah oh my god actually crazy how we have all this iron stuff already all right now stage two of my brilliant plan we're gonna make two boats here and we're gonna get some guards outside of the house guard us from the knocker oh looks like the party's gone over here by the way oh yeah we can definitely get one of these guys i don't know what they're doing but um yeah we can definitely push one of these guys inside of the boat nice thank you and then we're going to bring him over to the base. All right, nice. So you're going to be guard... Oh, oh, I'm killing him. Okay. 
So you are going to be guarding right here. Yes. Oh my god, this is going to look so good. Wait, this is genius. We can get this pig to be the other guard. <gasps> oh my god, we can have a human guard and a pig guard. And then we, we can go up to the back here. Oh my god, we now have a pig guard and a human guard. So these guys will be on 24-hour watch. They'll be on 24-hour long surveillance. And, um... Why are they looking at that sheep? Is there... Is there something wrong with this sheep? Okay, well if there was, there's no longer anything wrong with the sheep. I don't see anything crazy so far. This world looks pretty normal. Imagine I actually just like <laughs> forgot to install the mod and I'm just playing in an actual normal world. No guys, no. As you can see right here, the knocker. It's in it's in the game. Maybe it'll attack tonight. Dun dun dun. Aren't these villagers supposed to have a bell? Oh nice. Let's steal this bell. Thank you guys for the bell. Um Guys, guards, I want you to ring this bell if anything crazy happens. If you see the knocker, you ring this bell and you let me know before it kills me, okay? So I can at least be a little bit prepared. What? Bro. What the hell? This is not your bed. I guess I need to put a sign- What? Okay, I guess the more guards, the merrier. Um, okay, we now have three guards and somebody- Oh my god. Wait, the knocker is at- We just did the um, an amazing pump fake here. So the guard- The the knocker is gonna come here. He's gonna be like, Oh my gosh, this is the home of Vivoli. Let's kill him. And then the knocker is gonna think that is me and kill him. Oh my god. Amazing. Good job, guys. Their plan was so smart, I didn't even think of it. What? No! They're gonna try to kill my people! No. Oh my god, we have to make like a second layer. Oh my god, we have to make a second layer in front of the bodyguards. Okay, let's do this real quick. What the hell is that? What the hell was that noise? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nah. What? Dude, that was terrifying. I'm assuming it's gone. Right? You're just messing with me, right? Funny guy? You're not gonna do anything crazy, right? I think you're just trolling. Let's go ahead and place a door here, and then... Um, I wanna get glass, and I wanna put glass all around. And so we can have, like, an extra layer of protection so my bodyguards don't get killed by zombies. Oh god, I have to go out here and get sand. Oh no. Oh no. Thank god we live right next to an ocean. Okay, I'm just gonna get the sand over here. Okay. I think I've gotten enough sand. 59 sand? Yeah, that's that's definitely enough. Okay. Okay, nice. Let's smelt all this into glass. And then we can put glass on the ceiling. We can put glass here. And my people should feel a little more safe. Because that sucks. They're getting rained on too. Like, this is no way to treat my bodyguards. We got some glass. Just gonna go ahead and do that. What do they call this little thing that I made here? Uh, I know there's a word for it, like an airlock, right? Yeah, I think it's an airlock. They use that all the time in this game. <laughs> this game I used to play a lot back in the day called Rust. Everybody does an airlock to their base. Oh no, what is that noise? What is that noise? I don't see anything. Oh! Hello! <gasps> don't knock me down, don't knock me down. Dude, is it coming? I don't think it is. I think we're pretty safe. And then, nice, we could do that. And then we can work on doing the ceiling. Also, to do the ceiling, we're going to have to move the bell. Um, so we can move it, like, right here. What the hell is wrong with you? Dude, is that villager trolling? Why... Bro, dude, use your eyes, man. Use your eyes, bro. Like, what? Okay, he's volunteered himself. 
Now I have four bodyguards. Thank you guys all for volunteering. All right, this should be enough glass to finish our little roof here. I'm pretty sure it will be. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Nice. Now we have a successful airlock. We have four bodyguards. They can see out these little windows here. They can tell me if the knocker is coming. They can see above them to, well, I guess they'll know the weather if they even see up here. But they'll look up here and they'll think it's awesome and they'll love their working conditions. Um, and they'll want to work here forever. So, uh, goal accomplished with that. Uh, and they can stare at my feet, which I guess is an added bonus. Oh my god, and just like that. No rain. All they had to do was look at my feet and the weather stopped. But you know, the villagers, they're, they're living a really good, and, and the pig, I almost forgot about the pig. They're living a really good life right now. I don't know why all of them are looking this way though, that's kind of weird, isn't it? I don't know why they're doing that. But they're living a really good life right now, I mean, they have no fear of anything. They don't have any fear of being fired, mainly, that's the main thing, right? So I think to scare them in their tracks, we should put some lava on top of this. And if they ever fail, if they ever mess up their guard, pour the lava on top of them and kill them. So let's go get some lava from that lava pool we saw at spawn. Um, okay, don't hit me. Oh God, what an idiot. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of pains me to do this. Because the house is gonna look a little ugly. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. It would set the whole house on fire if I did that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, unless I did this, but I mean, god dang, that would just look so ugly. We can't have ugliness around. So I guess maybe... Here, I'm gonna instill the fear in them. Yes, you guys see what I can do? If any of you... What? Okay, well, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. God dang it, we had someone escape! Wait, which villager escaped? I think it was this one over here. I just saw him go in his house. You can't escape, you know too many secrets. Dude. Oh my god, you know too many secrets. That's right, that's right. Um, I don't think anybody saw that. I don't think anybody... Oh, yes. Yes, we do need a new bodyguard. Oh, what? Are they... Wait, are they... Having kids right in front of me? Wait, this is actually genius. Guys. We need an extra bodyguard. Oh no, the pig! No! Dude, are you kidding me, bro? Oh my god, man. It's fine, we need two actual bodyguards. Yes. Um, how am I gonna move? Uh... Do you want to be a bodyguard too, villager? We don't need a... Nice. Nice. Um, this is kind of awkward. Uh, we have, like, a lot of bodyguards now. Um, I can't even... Uh, I'll just move you, actually. I can just move you. Truly suffering from success. I mean, look at this. Oh, dude, come on. Oh, how, how would I ever move this one? God dang it. Because, I mean, if I want to leave my house and come back in. Can I come back in at least? All right, let's pretend I just came from a crazy expedition. Oh, I went inside my house. Dude, I, I, there's no way this doesn't move, right? Like, this has got to move if I just keep, like, running into it, surely. Dude, this is so annoying. What if the knocker comes right now? What if the knocker starts coming right now? Get inside of the boat, please. Dude, don't go to sleep. Oh my god, we just lost some bodyguards. This is horrible. It's okay though. Three bodyguards. They're all people. We don't have a pig and it's getting night again. Oh! 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 What? Wait, it hits you through your shield. That's crazy. That's crazy. I never knew that. It hits you through your shield. Wow. Um, well... That's, uh, that's the way she goes. That's... Okay. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'm... I'm fine. It's fine.